Hello my friends, today we will take a look at Insta360 ONE X2. 360 video is an interesting niche with a lot of potential for the future. Insta360 ONE X2 offers some significant upgrades over the original ONE X, which means that it should be even more useful filmmaking tool. In today's video we will take a look at the output and the feature set of ONE X2 and I will try to help you decide whether you should consider getting one. This video will be about using the ONE X2 for overcapture and 2D publishing, so it will not cover the VR. Much like other 360 consumer cameras, ONE X2 uses two 1 over 2.3 inch sensors and two fisheye lenses with f2 aperture. It can output 360 video with 5.7K resolution. As I will explain later, this is not the same thing as 5.7K 2D video. One X2 is 11.3 cm tall and it weighs 149 grams, so it is very portable. The build quality is very good. It is made of high quality plastics and the edges are rubberized. I can actually say that it feels quite premium. It is water resistant up to 10 meters without a case, which is a big upgrade over the original One X. Another big upgrade is the display. You don't necessarily need it for composing, because that is done in the post, but it is very useful for changing the settings and checking the exposure. The handling of X2 is generally a huge improvement, but I will talk about that later. The main reason why I am interested in 360 video is the overcapture. 360 camera is always filming everything around you, which means that you don't need to worry about the composition. That will be done during the editing. There are endless options how you can use that. You can add smooth panning even though you are holding the camera still, you can add tilting while you are walking, zoom in, or use an effect such as Tiny Planet. One X2 is also great if you are shooting for both YouTube and Instagram because it lets you choose the aspect ratio after you have shot the footage. Besides that, it is highly suitable for mounted and remote use. You can just mount it and forget about it, because the composing is done after the footage was shot. So how about the image quality? That depends on a lot of things. In terms of the details, it is similar to the original One X. It can shoot 5.7K 360 video up to 30 frames per second. 2D image quality depends on your chosen field of view. You will get the best image quality at the widest angle because you can use more real resolution. The video from One X2 looks great on my 6.1 inch iPhone. I think that this quality is more than good enough for Insta stories, TikTok and that kind of stuff. I can still say that it looks really good on an 11 inch iPad. The image quality is definitely not disturbing and I think that it is good enough for this display size. On big 4K screen, you will see obvious decrease in image quality in comparison to 4K mirrorless camera or even iPhone 12. A huge improvement on the X2 is the dynamic range. That is absolutely crucial on a 360 camera simply because you are always shooting bright sky and dark ground at the same time. Dynamic range on One X2 is really good. You will not get an overblown white sky on a bright day. It is somehow able to correctly expose the whole sphere, which is very impressive. The colors are also quite nice with relatively high level of saturation. Another improvement is the stitching. It is actually quite difficult to tell where the two cameras meet in most situations. I can say that the stitching won't be disturbing. This is also the best stitching that I've seen so far. If you just want to shoot 2D video, that is also possible up to 1440p. This video is decent, but not particularly impressive by today's standards due to the fisheye lens. One X2 can also shoot 18 megapixel stills. These are basically panorama shots, so they can make your social media content more interesting. One of the best things about the One X2 is the flow state stabilization. This is actually the best stabilization that I've ever seen on any camera regardless of the type. 
It has infinite room for digital cropping. Walking is extremely smooth even on very bumpy surface. There is simply no shaking at all. The stabilization is just fantastic, there is not much more to talk about. If you want to publish or just watch the footage from your One X2, you need to use an app. I still think that Insta360 offers the best mobile apps of all camera manufacturers. Insta360 app is very easy to use, fast, well organized and completely reliable. The touchscreen makes the framing and zooming a lot more convenient in my opinion. The file transfer through Wi-Fi is also very fast and convenient. Insta360 app also offers some new smart features such as object tracking which also works great. Insta360 also offers free editing software for PC and Mac. It works very well and it has basically the same capabilities but in this case I prefer mobile editing. There is even an Apple Watch app which makes it possible to control One X2 remotely. Regarding the handling, One X2 has a power button, shutter button and a round touchscreen. The touchscreen is a huge improvement over the monochrome display on One X. The user interface is very similar to One R, which means that it is basically as good as it can be at that size. All of the settings are easily accessible. Being able to check the exposure also gives you a peace of mind. There is a quarter inch thread on the bottom side. Just like other Insta360 cameras, you can use it with a selfie stick which will be automatically erased. One X2 comes with a neoprene pouch which is necessary to protect the exposed lenses. An alternative is to use this rubber lens cap which also works fine but it won't protect the display. One X2 uses a pretty large 1630 mAh battery. The battery is also a part of the outer construction. There is a gasket around the structural part to ensure the water resistance. The battery will last about 80 minutes when recording 5.7K video, which is pretty solid in my opinion. The micro SD card slot is also located underneath the battery, which is not ideal, but not a big deal. The battery can be charged through USB-C and you can also use it for data transfer. To sum up, Insta360 ONE X2 is a big improvement over the first version in a lot of ways. First of all, the user experience is much better thanks to that touchscreen. The dynamic range and the stitching are also great. Maybe the biggest strength of ONE X2 is the stabilization. That is the best of all cameras that I've ever tested. What hasn't improved though is the level of detail. That will still kind of limit the usability of One X2. I think that it is an excellent choice for people who mainly post on Instagram and similar platforms. The image quality is more than sufficient for that, over capture gives you infinite framing options and the mobile editing is also very convenient. I also know some people who use the original One X as their main camera. The video quality is still good enough for 1080p YouTube videos. It is also a great B camera for situations where the 360 capture is more important than the image quality. For that kind of situations, I wouldn't mind mixing it with full frame 4K footage. I also think that 360 video has a big potential for the future. If you can utilize a 360 camera in your content creation, I highly recommend Insta360 ONE X2. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you liked this video and that you found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.